Thank you for tuning in to Central Tea today. Well, all of you guys have been asking me the same question since three days ago. Why haven't you been making videos lately? Um, that question I'm afraid I will not be able to answer. Just give me a second. Time. So yeah, we'll not be able to answer that question, but I can answer another question, which is how do you edit your videos? Well, I personally use Camtasia Studios to edit my videos and publish them on YouTube it's right here. I've already got it open and I'm recording right now. See, twenty seconds into the video, let's make like that. So this is a video I actually shot a couple of months ago. Edited using Camtasia oh, Studios. Yeah, great, great. Bow, bow, bow. You can see the audio button is faster yeah, yeah. than the speaking right now. Also, oh I God. do not personally yeah, use the yeah. um, laptop's microphone, I use another microphone which is connected to my tablet, record on my tablet, and then I input it into my desktop. PC. Well, I actually changed things a bit. I started speaking online, and I thought, well, I'll just use this for this particular video. So, yeah. How does Camtasia Studios work? So I've got a couple of things here I can show you. So this is the video right now. It's not a preview of the video. Well, that's just a preview and the original video is down here. Wait. That is, is just click this one. It's the original video. What the beat and everything so I'll do the beat there. So basically um the three sections which is image, audio and video. You've got callouts and many other things, but these are the three main things which appear in the video. So we've got audio, which we can add. I've got I've got not to create it's a music video. I'll disable the um the video audio for some time so that you guys can actually hear not to pray. So that's it, basically. So yeah, that's a bit slick. Um, yeah, you might be able to hear my mouse going like all the time because yeah, it's the only room I have that I can actually record properly. The other rooms are not so great. So yeah. So I'll just bring back the game volume so you guys can actually hear. It. Wait, and I'll wait. Just label the um. Not to pray, so you can actually hear the game properly. Let's get in there. Yeah. So in the oh clip end, you can actually see an image of the Black Ops 2 that I actually cropped crop myself using oh GIMP, no, which I'll talk about in another video. So cool the Black Ops 2, I'm just going to drag that and put it into our um, timeline here. So Camtasia Studio divides the screen into three parts, which is the um, clip clip bin, then the video viewing area, and then the bottom is the timeline. So you take the image and then place it in the timeline. So that's a preview of the image. As you can see, it looks pretty good. If I do this myself. So I can just take that image, put it in the timeline, and then it's going to appear in my videos. Falcon, pointing over to my It is spaces. right in the middle of my scope. Great. Great. Yeah, I can use that as a watermark or anything. I can increase the duration of that picture. Let's go how long I stay in my video. So it's gonna stay in for like about one minute. Shot and then the it's head. gonna disappear right about now. Yeah. So I'm playing Gulk, Tom Clancy Ghost Recon Phantoms on the PC and it's a pretty neat game. So back to the video. So um Camtasia Studios has the clip in, the library, the callouts menu where you can actually insert callouts. Like for example this callout. We can insert this in the middle of our videos. Like for example no, no. We'll use another call out. Well, let's use the um. Okay, apparently, yeah. Let's use this, this call out. So the call out's already been entered into our um, pointing over the mark video. So let's, let's use something with the call out. Teammates face. And as you can see, the call out is actually taking off right now. Great. Great. So we want we want the call out to do some. Okay. No, basically do something. Let's do that and then put that over there. 
shotgun. So we'll have pointing against my teammate's face. Because great, yeah, great. Yeah. So the collapse will disappear and let's see. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, then let's move to the next part, which is zoom in. Oh my god! Man. So what that does is you can zoom in to what you're doing. For Shotgun. example, I want to zoom in right now. Okay, so I, ha I might have to delete the transition. Again. Okay, so now we can start doing it. So now let's zoom into something like. For example, the idiot's face to see again. So I'm going to be zooming into the idiot's face for quite some time. Faces. Not for the whole video. Great! Great! Let's switch. Yeah, we don't want that. So that's easy. Just going to see that. And then, put it over here. Split the video. Put it back there. Then, zoom into the idiot's face. Shotgun. No, 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 he's pointing at the mask. face. Which is apparently what. Great. Great. I don't want to do it in my video. Let's switch to. So, yeah, that's man. showing off the zooming in feature, the calls feature, and now I'm going to. I did show you the audio feature. So, what the audio feature is, you can edit your audio levels. And um, you can increase the volume, decrease the volume, you can silence the video, audio. You can fade it. You can make the audio fade in. You can make make it fade out, which will be in the end of the video. Right there, it's faded out. I'm gonna be dealing with the front part right now. So let's double control Z that. Okay. So you got transitions you can use to make your videos look a little better. Like I'm gonna use this transition. It's gonna be a fade transition. If you double click the if you double click the transition, it's gonna show. So I personally like using glow because I just like it. So I'm not allowed to put it there but okay I'm gonna show it right here. Split and put a glow transition right there. So just just for no reason I'm just gonna put that Bye -bye. transition there. As you can see. You see the transition? Yeah. Bye -bye. Uh. yeah. That's it. So you've got many more features like cursor effects visual properties, voice narration, which is going on right now, as you can see, it's going uh, pretty high right now. Um, this microphone, you can record my camera, which I do not want to do right now, as I said, it's pretty dark. Captions, I think there's a quiz mode, and all that. So then, yeah, whatever it is. So, once you've finished editing all the videos, you can just... As you can see, this video is about 7 minutes long, I'm after editing, it's not going to be that long. So you can just go, click the produce share button, and then you can select how you want to share the video. Through screencast.com, Google Drive, YouTube, and many more co uh, options. The YouTube custom thing here I chose was for like, Ultimate HD videos. And this is what I personally like using. You can go next, it's going to be saved in any of those folders, and then I'm going to show you a video. Uh, no. I'm going to show you a video I actually edited previously using Camtasia Studios. That's going to be my computer. Uh, ignore that. DMLD. And it's going to be my MDE. So as you can see, so, so many videos are actually edited using Camtasia Studios. And, um, yeah. Like, for example, um, this is one of my favorite videos I actually edited using Camtasia Studios. I love it so much. Hi guys, welcome to Central Tea. Everybody's today we're playing Minecraft. Um, I've come with my friends who actually told me to play this game, so we continue playing the game. I've already made a video in the beginning. Make sure you check that out. It's pretty strong.